And that's what your mum had to go through to conceive you, you selfish fuck. Extra on the dollop. Are we live, man? Live. Welcome to Martin Michael Philippe. Ha ha. Ha ha. Episode number seven, all right? We are fucking... It's seven episodes deep. We're nearly a quarter of the way through the season already. Hasn't that gone fast? Something's wrong with my chair. We have had the fucking week of hell. Like, Michael's chair's fucked This now. is broken, Matt. You fucked it. Jackson must have broke it when he stole your stuff. Extra on the dollop. Um, we've had... Yeah, it's been a fucking... It's been a... Fl- life has really thrown some shit at us. Oh, wow. We got fucking Julian here and his girlfriend. Stella. His girlfriend, Stella Hutchinson. Hutchinson? Hutchinson. They're a couple and they uh, they date. So they're together and they're in love. And they're sitting over there. But last week, yeah, so um, remember the uh, the high blood pressure thing? Well, I had to wear that tw- that 48-hour halty thing. Turns out I got some weird fucking... Um, uh, What's it called? Heart pulse thing. It's like a uh, something block, a... Uh, Cardioascia. Oh, fuck, I can't believe I've forgotten the fucking name of it. It's some weird name, right? And well, basically what it means is that a part of my heart that's not meant to be doing shit is trying to set the pace for my heart when it really it's the other one that should be setting the, the other part of the heart that should be setting the pace. So my, my heart beats super hard to try and like override that other little bit. And turns out I'm probably going to have to go on fucking medication for the rest of my life. We don't know that yet. Okay. To get, the, to get the blood pressure down. So that that's what started the week. So we found that out and it was a bit f- fucking terrifying. But then I went and had a heart ultrasound and my heart looks okay. So like it'll just be the medication and there's nothing else. And that's not 100% sure yet. Yeah. Well, I, the blood pressure is still super high. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to be. Was it a Wickenback w- block? Wickenback block. That's the fucking one. Is your mic on, man? I couldn't hear you then. Yeah, I don't know. I can't hear you in my ears, yeah, yeah. can't. Yeah, can't hear you here, mate. You fucking... You f- Matt, really? You're going to throw this on top of all of the issues we've had already this week? And you haven't even signed up, I'm no, sure. No, we've got Julian. Can you hear me at all? We've got Stella here, dude. Can you Stella's hear me? a girl. No, can't hear a word you're fucking saying. Stella's a fucking girl. Because that's what I was looking at before. It wasn't working. Yeah. Stella's a girl. We'll, we'll wait. How about now? Yep, gotcha. But, uh, so that's like Monday, Tuesday, that's all happening, right? So quite stressful when it's something to do with your heart. Then Wednesday, Thursday rolls around and mm. Bosley starts getting real fucking weird. Like He gets, copycatted you. Yeah, I, literally. Because usually when I'm sick or like hungover or something, he'll literally just do nothing and just lie with me all day. I thought it was like a sympathy fucking sickness. But then he just kept getting worse and worse until he couldn't even fucking walk. And he was just lying there, huge fever, shit coming out of his eyes. He was just like... Oh, man, it, just, it was just fucked. So I got the vet over and they didn't, couldn't really figure out what was wrong with him. So they just started him on antibiotics. He wasn't getting better. Had to take him to the vet and they put all these IV drips in him for the day. And turns out it was a, uh, he had a liver infection and he only just fucking pulled through. And now he's finally starting to recover. And now he's nearly, nearly uh, he's probably at like 60%, I would say now. Mm. But he's, you can tell that he's getting better now. So fuck me. It has been so that over the weekend. The fucking, it's been raining in Australia, in fucking Queensland and New South Wales nonstop. So we haven't been able to fucking film properly. A week straight. Hopefully tomorrow we can film the fucking hockey episode. Maybe we should build an arc. Yeah, well, we have one. Just on the corner of your house here. Yeah. Is that still there? Yeah. Thieves haven't taken it? The pumpkin patch is like grown over the boat. Oh, that's good. It's well hidden then. Mm. so yeah other than that yeah it's just been there's fucking flooding in new south wales there's fucking rivers are fucking really high here we're gonna go go boating down the storm water drains today but it's just raining too hard you can't film (laughs) anyway that's our week how's yours been yeah not too bad fucking fucked it michael had to have a break so he could get a new chair and he's decided to do the old back to front chair. Remember like the cool kids high school used to flip chair? Julian's jerking off. Julian? He had his dick out, Stella. He actually had his dick out then. Very fucking disgusting. Oh, I can't handle this. The, that's fucked, Julian. This is a workplace. You are an employee. Hey? I could get you done for sexual assault. Matt, what would happen at Wholesome if you had your dick out during a board meeting? 
and stood up, what would happen? I'd be in trouble. Yeah. You hear that, Julian? It's because you edit and shit doesn't mean you're off the hoof. Fuck. Fuck face. I can't believe you just showed us your dick. Outside hours only. Come. Wildly inappropriate. Anyway. And then um, he was yelling at Justin Ryan to show his dick. He's asking other people to get naked. He's it's not on. He's going into murky waters. <laughs> yeah, he's being missed. Anyway, let's um, segue from that to our sponsors. So, first of all... Um, oh, by the way, before we even fucking get on that, right now, while you're listening to this, the Action Sports episode came out yesterday. It's a fucking good one. It's probably our favorite so far. Yeah, it was, my, it was the funnest. And very scary too. So fucking go and have a fucking watch of that before you take another fucking step forward, cunt. And anyway, this podcast is proudly brought to you by Manscaped, all right? If you want to buy any grooming shit, they got cool undies. They got razors that will not cut your sack skin, right? They won't cut it. Use our discount code fully actual for 20% off. So if you need some shit, just go to the website and buy some shit using the discount code because you get 20% off, you may as well. All right. And um, yeah, they got heaps of cool shit. They got mops for your cock and balls. They got the shaver that Michael's using right now. They got like, they'll send you like a cool little bag with undies and all sorts of shit. Just go have a look. All right. Manscaped.com discount code fully actual. And of course, the other sponsor. Can you fuck off, cunt? Can you fucking fuck off, cunt? Yeah. The other sponsor, of course, is the University of Markle. One of the fastest growing entertainment streaming services in the entire world. It has the most cutting edge entertainment on it, right? And... And you don't believe me, you can fucking sign up for free for 21 days and check it out yourself. It just took over the National Geographic. It just took over the National Geographic. Like it's covered it completely. And if you don't believe us, go click the link, have a look. If you don't agree that we've just overtaken the National sign Geographic- Sign up, but you can sign off you later. Can sign off before the 21 days for free if you don't fucking agree with me right now. All right, Matt? Oh, you probably don't agree, you fucking Matt? bag of shit. What are you guys talking about? You know exactly what we're fucking talking about. We get to, you slimy this, fucking pig. We get pig. to look at something. And, uh, Julian, this is only okay if we ask for it, okay? You can't just show it <laughs> when you want. Matt, give us a nip, give us a bum, give us a ball. I no, I'm not feeling it today. Well, maybe give us an upper thigh. Just a little fucking part upper of the, in the bit. Upper thigh. And How high? And jiggle it a bit for me. I like when it jiggles. I love even- like, What if I just jiggle a bit in front of you? Just, yeah, jiggle a bit of the thigh. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Like grab it hard pretend it, and I'll pretend it's my hand. Try and pop it, <laughs> basically. No. Okay. Why? You haven't done this. Just a little jiggle? Yeah, yes. I think that's respectful. But- <laughs> No, I don't want to do Oh, that. come on, man. Dude, if you don't do this, then you have to do that. What, like a little jiggle, jiggle? Yeah, yeah, one leg up, just put it up like that and then bang, 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 bang. And grab it with your hand. It doesn't go bang, bang, bang. You got it can, you go got tight bang, undies bang. on, yeah. yeah. Pull that undies was all right. up a bit. That's it, I'm done. I like, oh, yeah, I saw oh, the oh, dick oh, a bit. Oh, was oh, 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 fucking hell, man. <laughs> two, 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 two. Was good. All right, fucking, good. what do we got on this episode? <laughs> we got the fucking, the German segment. We got PO box. We got sent a butt fuck load of shit. We got the bloody prank call. We got bloody questions. And fucking... There's some fucked up stories from people. For what? They're crimes. Oh, they're crimes. Okay, yeah. And we got the crime segment. Fuck me, man. Keep sending them in. Because I haven't seen any for a while, but I've got some saved. All right. But first of all, Matt, how'd on this day go this week? It took a while. It took a while? Yeah. So, this is like... This is probably the most legitimate ones I've ever found. And are you going to continue with your... Oh, yeah. It says I can see a diary entry. <laughs> what? Did you not mean to? Oh, shit. <laughs> you you got to take a disconnect Dude, you gotta, it from your yeah, diary. Because I think it uploads from like your iCloud or something onto the on this days. It's and database. Get, and then I get your entry. diary entries in. So, anyway. but Entry points. Look, <laughs> we'll start reading it. And, um, you know, if it's one that you're not comfortable with the whole world. Just knowing, scream out. We'll yeah, the last kind of. You have to scream. If you don't scream out, we won't stop. Yeah. It has to be a scream out. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. On this day in 2010, Katy Perry admitted that her song Fireworks is based on an experience she had as a teenager. The lyric, baby, you're a firework, was exactly what she said to a newborn baby she came across after its father strapped 10 kilograms of fireworks to its body. She said, baby, you're a firework, as the father lit the fuse and she watched this screaming baby launch up into the sky at great speeds and explode in an incredible array of wonderful colors. It was the most beautiful It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, she said. I was always wondering where that... I thought it was like an inspirational song, but that makes more sense. It's like a literal (laughs) baby, you're a firework. Hmm. There you go. The things you learn. Yeah, I don't... You don't understand that one? No, I didn't get it. She's married to Orlando Bloom. Bullshit. Yeah, Lord of the Rings, Elf Men. When did that happen? I'm so out of the loop. She didn't get remarried. (laughs) They've had a kid. Man, they've had like nine kids. Dude, don't you follow Daily Mail? Yeah. The Daily Mail might be quite interested in this diary entry, actually, Matthew Brown. Is it just coming up now? <clears throat> yeah. It's just loading into my on this day uh, schedule and it's loaded. <coughs> on this day in 2018, diary entry number 975 from Matthew Gregory Brown. <clears throat> my heart was pounding. Had she seen me? I pressed my body further into the hedge. The twigs scratched my back, but the adrenaline helped numb the pain. <laughs> I heard the window close above me, then silence. She didn't see me. Relief flooded my body and my lust instantly returned. I quietly stood and peeked through her now closed window and continued pulling at my little brown. She was out of the shower now and drying her hair. Pleasure string shot out of my end and I smeared it on the window. I smiled. Another successful evening observing my precious. Soon my brown will be in her town. Oh, oh my god Holy shit That's that's gonna change shit The world is fucking There's a comet that's just exploded We're gonna fucking live forever oh. Holy fuck Did you want to cut that one Or you're alright with that one No I think we'll leave it that, <laughs> No leave it. Dude That's a good one No Connor no. Oh my god dude That fixed shit up in the world Everything got cleaner well, the plastic in the ocean, like half of it's gone from I'm, that. I'm pretty sure that's a, him stalking a, a girl. Brown in town. What did you think of it? I just like the- I only heard rhymes and they got me excited. <laughs> you should listen to rap, right, Julian? The rhyming Four in elements? rap- The rhyming in rap is un- Turntablism. Oh, water fire. Ugh. On this day in 1942, Harrison Ford was a bubble floating around China or one of them ones. Manscaped. I just wanted to get the middle out. Sorry, keep going. No, oh. no, ruined it. No, anyway, that's on these days this God, week. Everyone, you're all about can, Manscaped. One can thank Michael for that. Very rude. Very rude to halfway through on this day. You know how hard Matt works on these. I didn't know it made noise. Yeah, you did. Yeah, this is did. my part of the podcast. This is and Matt's then you just decided part. to throw now, in a shout out to the had sponsors. Two and a half on these days today. Unbelievable. Anyway, moving right along to the next segment. I am so furious right now that I'm shaking. Look at that. You really are. <laughs> Matt, bring on the next bloody segment, mate, because I'm about to blow a fuse, mate. I'll tell you what. Uh, next segment is questions. questions. And that's what we've renamed it to. First question is from Sabrina. How did Matt like the golf remake of himself? And did he sign up to the website yet? No, uh, no he has not fucking signed up to the what's website the yet. What's the golf remake? The, oh, the golfing the, video. The golf video of where Matt... Like, oh, Matthew, just Matt playing golf. Matt down. <laughs> I believe she sent us a golf remake where she added some extra oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. She started <laughs> redoing <laughs> the actual pranks. But thank you, Sabrina. I yeah. spoke to her on Discord the other night. Yeah, oh. we got a Discord. If you want to sign up to the university, you can go to the Discord chat to us whenever you want anyway. Moving on. Next she question. does funny little German words like you. Is she German? Yeah, dude. She mm. sounds different. She's a higher, higher species. Bean. The Germans are at the very... As, Aryan race. As you know, they're at the, you know, they're at the top. <laughs> next question is from Defy underscore you. Um... Have you have either of you ever attempted a Guinness World Record? Yeah. Yes, we uh, attempted the Guinness World Record not blinking. Uh, we attempted um, what else did we do? Most chicken nuggets ever eaten. Most chicken nugget. Most blueberries in the mouth. Mm. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Uh, we haven't tried most Fer- Ferrero Rochers. Rochers in a minute. It's like apparently 11. it's like no, it's like seven, dude. 
Yeah, if you could just if you could open your gullet far enough, just I reckon a chick, one? like a maybe a porn star who's used to relaxing a throat, sticky, <laughs> just sw- just, just fucking inhale them down like that. Wouldn't you breathe it into your lungs? You know, but there's guys who do it with pool balls. Remember? Whoa, there's that Guinness Whoa. Book of Record where that guy goes. <laughs> Have and you then, seen the dudes that can fucking like smash hot dogs down their throats? Yeah, that too. That would hurt. Mm. Like dollop. Next question is from Christoph uh, Guminitz. Um, after coronavirus has gone away, have, will you guys ever consider opening up an On These Days agency to handle the real journalism? Oh, well, that's up to you, Matt. Do you think it's too... <laughs> time consuming or will you be able to sustain your level of research for the end of time cunt I'll hire Julian to help me oh yeah maybe that's why you start sliding in a few diary entries now and then because it's like less labour intensive it's already stuff that's written and you, to be honest it's your qu- pre-work quite interesting quite interesting so far a bit fucked but yeah yeah brown and town <laughs> next question is from Johnny Pepper um, who's your favourite tennis player Oh, these days, I don't really follow it anywhere near as much as we used to, but probably like Feds, I guess. He's just a freak. It's fun to watch how good he is. And um, fucking, yeah, that's about it these days, eh? <laughs> I don't really have one now. Yeah, it used to be Leighton and Marit Safin and Carlos Moya. <laughs> Carlos now, Moya? Yeah, dude. You like the Spanish man? Yeah, dude. Why? Because he's got Western grip. Oh, you like the Western, the spin he puts on the ball, yeah, eh? About high. Yeah, about high. Got high, high off the oh, court. Oh, Good yeah, boy. Yeah, he's yeah. saying it correctly. Yeah. Good boy. Next question. It's from Punter92. Um... Can you boys add a comment section to the website by any chance? Yes. It'd be good to see what people write under each video. That's coming with the Clang Clang. Yeah, I think that's coming with the app, which we uh, don't really have an update on just yet. Um, We're finding a new app developer and um, things are very slow. (sighs) Things are very slow, man. Bear with us, guys. Next question is from... uh, Deegan. (laughs) It's from Brian. Um, Um, Do you have four skins? Yep, I got a foreskin, mm. but um, it's like sometimes it's hard to tell because my knob is so massive that the foreskin just naturally comes back a bit. You've seen it. Mm. What do you think? Yeah, it's it's good. Michael has like too much foreskin. Michael has more foreskin than penis. It, it turns out. It's like it's like it's, <laughs> it's like, sort of you like know when you have a sock hanging off the end of your uh, foot, like it's not on properly. It's like half on your foot and half dangling off the end. <laughs> it's like that's what Michael's dick is it like. It looks like it's connected. It's just a big ball sack. I saw Michael piss once, and it comes out like a hose. It's not quite turned on yet. Yeah, it yeah, it comes out like a out. sprinkler because yeah. because the foreskin is so long. <laughs> just yeah, it actually sometimes it goes into the balls. Yeah, his balls swell with urine. Next question is from Nick Gagnon. Gagnon? Yeah, Gagnon. You're saying that perfectly. Yeah. Um, if you had a million dollars for a day, how would you spend it? Oh, probably I'd go to... A million dollars just for one day. What? And then after that, you have to give whatever you bought back? Man, I'd go to Movie World and shout is all the day. To Movie World? Yeah. No, I get wet and Fucking- wild, man. When Walt is where he's at, bro. Fuck, I'd probably try and do all three. <laughs> sea World. Get us one of those Movie holiday World. passes. Yeah, that's what I'd do. Next question is from Cole R. Um, does anything ever offend you guys? Is there ever a line, does anything offend you? I think like if, <sighs> if people try and, and hurt you personally, maybe that's when it's like if someone walked up to me and said, Marty, I find you so fucking ugly and I think you're a fucking fuckwit. Like that would hurt my feelings, but but things like like the people get offended at fucking everything these days. Like fucking if if someone was to you know make fun about something like me being where I'm from or or, or something, it's all it's like stop, don't be sad at that. Just fucking shut up and move on. It is a choice to be offended. God, so if, if you make a big deal about something, you're the fucking problem. Yeah, and, and a lot of the things we say it, it jokes. And so, if it's said in a... If anything is said in a joking way, it's fine because it's a fucking joke. Yeah, agreed. And if you choose to be offended, you're the fuckwit that causes all the drama by blowing up. So, to answer your question, the only thing that would possibly ever offend us is if you came to us and very seriously sat us down and explained all the things that are wrong with us. 
Or, I Fun. guess that's assault if you hit them. <laughs> yeah, assaulting us would also offend us. I reckon, yeah, true. Maybe like a slap is okay. I had a guy, a fan come up to me a week ago and he literally is like, you owe me money, cunt. And he was like, <laughs> he, was, he was like a scary dude. And I was like, fuck, what do you mean? What's wrong with you? <laughs> So you owe me fucking money. Like, it kept getting scarier and scarier. Did he say why you owed him money? And I was like, what for? I don't even know you. And he's like, you owe me money. I was like, holy shit. I just thought he was going to take a swing. But then he's like, nah, just kidding. And I was offended. <laughs> that was so, a yeah. terrible story. <laughs> that offends me. So, Next question is from Zach. Uh, would you boys ever play tennis against each other with a punishment for the loser. Yeah, we have been playing a bit of tennis lately again. Been fucking getting back in. We're waiting until we get a little bit better so the live streams aren't dog shit boring. And we haven't been able to play because of the fucking rain. Also, we organized the fucking tennis episode for which sport is the scariest. And we've got James Duckworth, who's like top 100 in mm. the world. Oh, that's and his nice. coach, Wayne Arthurs, who we used to watch growing up. Freakishly massive serve. So we're, we're gonna, gonna get ringed. Yeah, it's gonna hurt like a lot. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's how fast dangerous. can you surf? Two, well over two hundred k's an hour, and that's just gonna sit sit right in your gut there, cunt. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is from David O'Neill. Um, have you ever considered uploading the unedited, unedited version of the podcast to the website? You guys aren't... Re you're really not missing out on much. Like, I, I know it probably seems like, fuck, what are they saying that they can't post? But like, it's it's just something shocking like... Um, There's stuff that you get cancelled for. Yeah, yeah. Like stuff that like that someone could see and then just like screen record or something and then send to the Daily Mail and then our careers are over. Just shit like that. It's nothing... It's not a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> Don't stress. You guys, this is like... You're getting like 98% of it. And sometimes they're just pauses in conversation because Michael doesn't forgets where we are or doesn't know what's going on. And then we just cut that, that silence out. Extra on the dollop. dollop. <laughs> Next question is from D Namel. Um, now that you're verified on Instagram, do you plan on drunk messaging celebs? Yeah, we've done that already, man. Hey, we we're did it before we were verified, and now we're verified. So I'm sure that some of those people have seen the old messages we sent to them, man. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> no, but the hunt. Um, we've got. We've decided what we're going to try and do for the hunt this weekend. Better more fucking ever. It's pretty cool. Shame oh, spin. Um, next question is from Christina eighty two Jones. Um, is there yeah, ever? A to... Oh, sorry. What question do you both? Oh, sorry. She's written this funny. So basically, she's saying, um, is there a question that that anyone hasn't asked you yet that you'd love to be asked? <sighs> um, what's your favorite color? <laughs> They actually smell okay today. I want it in your eyes. Don't close them. Oh. Um, what's a question? Oh, yeah, I can't think of... Th there's nothing that I really want to tell, tell about myself, but sometimes we, we're like, oh, that's a really good question. Like the only thing I'm probably really most proud of, you guys already know, and that's being number nine in the world for Worms Armageddon 2. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> and uh, last question is from Da King. <sighs> Would you guys raise your kids the same way your parents raised you? Nah. I don't, yeah. I, I, you take little bits from it. Mm. Yeah, you take the good and then you leave the bad out. And then sometimes you amplify the bad. Just sort of see what happens. And say, so, oh, fucking... Uh, fuck Stir him up. Fucking, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking <laughs> up a bit. Shake, shake it. Give him a shake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking neck muscles aren't developed. Yeah, can't. <laughs> <laughs> fucking whiplash. Fucking brain, brain in pork, head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, bath water's too hot, is it? Leave it in there for a while. <laughs> Soft skin. <laughs> Fucking cook the can a bit, can't. And that's the questions. Yeah. Okay, right. sweet. All right, let's fucking, let's open some shit. It's Christmas. Is that when we do it now and this one now? Um, Usually we do the hunt and then you open okay. it. It's time for the hunt! All right. We figured out what we're going to try and do. All right. So fucking it's been a few years. It's been a long, long time. And Michael and I, we've been worried about this individual. You know, we haven't seen him. No, he's been, he's been looking good. 
He looks good, but the skills that he had once upon a time, it's like, can you still do that, man? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fuck. So what we're trying to do, right, we want to check if Shane Warne, international, well, Australian, the best spin he bowler dated Australia's Liz ever seen. Hurley. Hurley. God, I'm attracted to her. She looks amazing She's at her. Never, she looks better the older she gets. So Shane Warne, we want to check if he can still spin. So that is the new hunt. All right. What we want, and this will this will prove that yeah. he can, is he needs to send us a video, like Hamish and Andy, or Andy, thank you, Andy, of him spinning around in a circle. And that will show that he can still spin like he used to. He's he's dubbed the spin king for the, anyone in America who doesn't spin. know who fucking Shane Warne is. I'm sure everyone else does. So, we, we want him to send us a video that he can still spin. Do you understand? Does that make sense, everyone? Now, we need your fucking help, okay? We've DM'd him a while ago. You didn't see it. Yeah. Still hasn't seen it? No. And he's not he's not very active on um, social media, so we're going to have to get creative here. The he's night- active on Tinder once, wasn't he? Yeah, he was, yeah. So Didn't we see him on Tinder once? Yeah. Um, so, he is- um, yeah. The last time he posted was the 9th of March. What's the date now? Uh, 23rd. Yeah, so it's been ages. So, so next- Well, even now, <laughs> fuck it. We need everyone now, all right? Pause the- Pause the video after I finish this sentence. We need all of you to go and comment on his latest post. Check Marty and Michael's DM. I'm going to fucking put a comment on there right now on his latest post saying, hey, mate, can you check our DM? And then I want everyone to comment on that fucking post. It's a photo of him holding a talking about his gin or some shit. All right. Um, hey, mate, check our DM. It's very... Oh, wait. It's very... And I'll put very... Wait, we haven't asked him to spin yet, though. Important. We've just initiated a hello and we think... Yeah, I cool. just want him to see it. As soon as he sees it, then we've got our little slither snake in the door. And we've got a week anyway until this comes out. So. Yeah, so fuck me, mate. So, yeah, that's the plan. All right, we want Shane Warne to send us a video of himself spinning. I, I don't think he's going to do that. Why? Why? No, why? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I just like if someone can you. It's just it doesn't look cool to s- stand and spin in a circle. <laughs> oh man, it would be so good. It would be very good. But any I like it if he keep his head like looking at the camera and then the inter- quickly wrap it round and look back. <laughs> or no, he, he or he just keeps his head in one spot, but his body twists. Yeah, or, so his neck gets all coiled, or his his head just twists. <laughs> Yeah, all no, no. Imagine if he just stood there and didn't even spin. <laughs> oh, but he just did it that quick that we couldn't even see him spinning. Yeah, so we're, we're going to leave it up to him. We just want him to spin something, even if it's a spinner or a, a, a ball. I'll take a spinning ball. Well, that's what he used to do. So I, guess I, that you know, makes I haven't sense. seen him spin anything for a while. I watch we him have, on- we're just checking, guys. That's why we're doing that. We're checking. We're just checking that everything's okay with him. Because I see him on all the uh, comment, commentary and shit. He doesn't even spin. He never spins he never, anymore. Well, he doesn't even spin like the pen in his hand. Yeah, it's just or, always yeah. just like, like, like this. Like that? Like I have straight? seen I have seen this a bit sometimes when his mouth is closed. Oh right. Well he can still spin that. But that's not obvious. So like you don't know what that is. That could be something else. I've, not his I've never seen that. If I had seen that, I never would have started this hunt. You need to tell me that sort of shit. You're spinning. Does that look like it's spinning? It's more of a roll. Mm. So he's rolled, but he hasn't spun yet. So anyway, that's what we're gonna try and do. What do you think his middle name is? Kale? Oh, so close. <laughs> Shane Sworn. <laughs> you have to whisper it. Warn. Oh, Liz Hurley. What what is it? Keith. Keith. Shane Keith Urban. SK Urban. No, it's Warn. SK Warn. SK Warn. <laughs> So that's the hunt, guys. We're going to fucking he- tackle this challenge head on and we're going to fucking get Warney to check if he can still spin. If he doesn't send anything, I guess that means that he can't spin and he's a bit self-conscious about it. Yeah, that's true. And it, it's okay. Oh, no, it's not okay if he doesn't do it. 
<laughs> oh fuck. <sighs> oh dude. I just yeah. I saw that fly up and I thought it was coming at me. Shane Warne. All right. Anyway, help us out with the hunt, guys. That's all of it this week. That's our update. <laughs> Clap, Stella. And Belly. Julia. Yeah. All right, on to, on to Christmas time. Well, why don't, why don't, why don't, look, look at fucking Julian sitting over there. He just can't wait to tell us this story. He's got a big smile on his face. How about he come and tell oh, us the story? He loves it. He says he's been we'll begging. Have presents he's later. been saying to us for weeks, please let me tell this story. Please, please. I just want to come on the podcast and tell this story. Please. I just want people to, I want to be on the podcast. It's a such a good podcast, Marty. Please. And he shakes my shirt and shit. And I'm so like, needy. Yeah, soon, Julian, soon. I say that and push him away. So Julian has a story that he wants to tell you guys And it might explain a little bit about why he is the way he is uh, Welcome Julian nice stop. Oh, That's I enough can't. Julian That's enough, <laughs> that, that's enough. Alright Julian Start <laughs> Go Go <laughs> Start the story Okay When I was younger I was snooping around my parents room for Christmas presents Make sure they can see your face Can you see his face Matt Matt yeah, of course. Okay. I was snooping around my parents' room for Christmas parents. <laughs> Christmas <laughs> he wanted okay, new goodbye. ones. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for Christmas presents and I was looking in the cupboard where they usually keep them and I found a box and it was a nice big box and it had tapes, DVDs and just weird wrapping of stuff. And I was like, oh, it's presents. But it was... A bunch of pornos and sex toys. How oh. old were you? How old were you? Oh, I was probably like 14. Oh, what? 14, oh, not younger? Maybe, just say Maybe 12. 16. Say 12. I was nine. Okay. <laughs> and, um, so like last year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was six months ago. And um, yeah, so I was looking around the cupboard and I found this box full of sex toys and DVDs. And at the top was a cassette tape with the name <laughs> and you might want to oh, bleep that kind yeah, bleep those names. <laughs> bleep that kind of it, yeah. And I was like, oh, that's my parents' names. Oh, so I was like, no. what's this cassette tape? Not a cassette tape, a VHS or whatever the fuck uh, they're called. Uh, a, 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 a videotape. Videotape, yeah, an old videotape. And it had my parents' names on it. And I was like, what could this be? A little bit of a surprise. It was a better Christmas present than anything I Were you ready? Got. Did you want to have a bat as well? Uh, well just let me tell the fucking story, okay. Michael. <laughs> Anyway, so I've taken it down to my room and in my room I had like a DVD and tape player and I've put it in and I've started watching it and it turns out it was a sex tape of my parents fornicating, seeing my dad put his cock into my birthplace. <laughs> and you watched the whole thing? No, nah, only 15 minutes. <laughs> Dude, that, did you get hard at all? <laughs> did you pause it? I, let, me get to that. let me get to that. Anyway, so I'm watching it and it started off with like, my mum coming over after she's obviously just set up the, the camera on the tripod. Crawling over sexily to your father. <laughs> anyway, she, <laughs> and she started, you know. Sucking your dad's dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Started fucking. How are you so happy his, about this story? It was hilarious. Fuck. Sucking on his car. I think this is something just clicked in Julian's mind yeah. when he was watching this. And now he just is the way he yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so then I'm watching it. And then my dad, I actually learned a position from my dad. It was sort of like a little pole driver thing. Though. <laughs> and he's just fucking slamming her. His face is all red, fucking grunting, noises and shit. Anyway, my mum gets home. <laughs> she was out somewhere and she gets home. I start fucking panicking. Take the disc out, not the disc, the tape out, and put it in the top drawer. And start pile driving her. What? What, what, what? <laughs> what, of your room? In my room, in my room. So you so, kept it in your no, room? No, no, just listen, because okay. I freaked out because she was there and I was yeah, like, oh yeah, yeah. shit. And I did have a little bit of a, you know, tent pitch. Oh, anyway. Did you have a think about like having a go? Yeah, a little, little. I still do. Wow. But um, anyway, so I've put it in the drawer. Anyway, she's come in. I've completely forgot about it because oh, of my ADHD. How I'm on to forget about. I'm on to the fucking next thing. It's ADHD. Okay. And then, anyway, two weeks later, my mum was cleaning my room and had, must have <laughs> found the fucking tape oh. in the top drawer. Because then, two weeks later, just after it, I was like, "Oh shit." Because I was like, "My mum cleaned my room. What if there's shit in there Wait, that's not meant to be in there?" And I've gone. I've gone. Oh no, the tape. And it was gone. Oh! <laughs> oh, and you so, never spoke to her about that? Nah, nah. Can we call her? No, no, no. <laughs> I didn't speak to her because actions speak louder than words. Oh, did you know about this, Stella? <sighs> yeah. 
<laughs> did he so tell you when you were at school or did he tell you no, like no. later in life? He told me later in life. That, that, was, that was this one time I was at, uh, I had a party at mine when my parents were out of town and I remembered it. And I was like, oh, and I went to the box and I got one of the dildos and licked it in front oh, of my friend. Oh, were you there? Oh, 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 were you there? Oh, oh. No, it was pretty funny though. I just gave it a little lick. Oh, and like, oh. Oh, oh. I was like, she obviously, obviously washes it. Oh. It tastes it clean. Oh, yeah, that's, I, I get that joke. If she's anything I, have like you, ever you done that? If Matt? she's anything like you, are you sure she watched dude, it? Dude, Michael, you saw her Instagram today. She's fucking fit, dude. I didn't I say actually, she wasn't I, fit. I, I, find, I find it pretty. Dude, she's pretty fucking hot. Um, Matt, mm. here, get up your Instagram. I'll show you my mom. But we'll do it after. That, okay. Like now, forever, mum knows that you like. She doesn't know the like, like the reason for it. She yeah, doesn't yeah, know no, that, that like. She just found finds her fucking porn movie yeah. in your room like you've kept it there for your bat material. No <laughs> wonder they're so fucking angry at you all the time. They think that you l- want to fuck your them. Your dad's just <laughs> jealous because he... <laughs> That's probably true. Dad, your dad thinks that you want your mum. Yeah. yeah, your dad's just jealous. Oh, That's probably why he's so fucking yeah, angry. this is like the therapy. Area. Yeah, 100%. Wow, but... That is intense. If, like, you, if you guys haven't signed up to the University of Markle, sign up because you'll get to see exclusive content of my dad abusing me. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. And I want them to meet angry. my parents. It's I very... want to take them and have like a round table dinner with my parents. And I want Marty to fucking piss off my dad. We could just well, bring up... On him. We could bring up... No, oh yeah, we Don't could... fucking bring... I wish I never fucking told this story now. <laughs> you're, not, you're never meeting my fucking parents, man. You have to bring that Dude, up. Dude, if no, we could do no, an ep- I'll pay no. you. We'll give you money to let us do an episode where we tell your parents what happened that day. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you good, like decent money. What do you want? How much? Oh, we'll give you what a oh, grand yeah, and a half. Give you a thousand dollars, yeah. That'll be a really good one. Get a deal. <laughs> if we can film it and we sit down with the table, like at the table, and we we're allowed to Interview actually style, film, yeah. they, they won't be okay with that though. Will they? And that will that like? <laughs> yeah, we can blur their faces, but okay, and We'd, distort their voices. Oh fuck yeah! Oh, <laughs> I'm so keen on that. Shut up, Matt. That's going to be the best video of the year. No, and oh, your Jordan has to be there. Your brother. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And he Why? Ha- and- Why is that? <laughs> Why is that? Why is that, Michael? Yeah, Michael. Tell him. He's, well, he's the better, better looking version. How? Of Julian. Why? Because he's got blue eyes. Imagine there Julian with recovered. blue eyes. He'd be so much hotter. Even Stella said it the other day. Anyway, that's Julian's story, and we just thought you guys should know about that. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing the thing that he did when he watched his parents slam it. <laughs> he's, he's turned his feelers off. <laughs> cut that, Connor. Cut that, Connor. Cut, cut this, Connor. Cut his, cut his fucking wrists, Connor. Up a thigh. No one sees it then. <laughs> All right. I want to be here for your opening shit. I want to see. Open it's so shit. hot. Yeah, it's so hot. And and look, we can't. There's not oh. enough mics. Okay. Well, you can stand next to the table. Yeah, your face can be near Marty. It's okay, man. No, no, grab a chair no. and then sit on that it's side. Okay. I just want room. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll leave. Oh, where's the I'll presents? S- I'll leave. It's a different world when you hear when you hear Yulia talk. All right, then we have it's the PO unboxing, everyone, and we got some big, big gifts. This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is what I want to see. Oh, this is a bomb. This didn't fit in the fucking box. I had to go into the post office. Oh, wait. Oh, maybe I'm not happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's so it's a bigger big, in the it's bag. A big brown bag. There's... It's Amazon. Uh, oh, it's an adult humor rude gift cup ceramic. All right. Let's have a look. It is a mug that says... Oh, wow. So you look at it like that. So the... Handle makes We've the been seat. sent that before. Have we? Have we? That no. exact thing. Yep. It no. Says cunt, right? Yeah. We've got it. Go look in my top top shelf. Uh, I don't believe you. Just go look in there. Top shelf. I don't believe you. Uh, diagonally. Go diagonal. Left, 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 left. Top shelf. I don't believe him. At the very far corner. Uh, next. Next Thank gift. You. More. More presents. Uh, that wasn't satisfying. <laughs> look. Oh, I see. Slightly different. Slightly different. Hot. Julian's got his balls out. Oh. Julian! Get him away. Julian! Did everyone see Julian's shirt, by the way? It's Cracker Milk merch. It's um, very good. I am not a pedophile. Very important that Julian points that out to people. All right, what do we have here? We have a folder. 
Read this before opening so it makes sense. I wanted to let you guys know that I only did this because I wanted to. I don't want money or, an, or attention. With that being said, this took me forever. I hand typed all of them and laughed my ass off the whole time. Hopefully you guys can get a good use out of these. I'm sure I will. Also, sorry for my handwriting. It's shit. <laughs> <laughs> the printer ran out of ink. Jacob Dickin, son. Off the podcast personal letter. I guess we'll read that after. But thank you very much, Jacob. Dude, I don't know what this you. is yet. But this is exciting. This is what I want to see. Yeah, that looked hard. Oh, so it's a it's a folder. Whoa. Yeah, Marty and Michael fully actual. Marty and Michael fully actual. Season one to two on this day's the book. Whoa. No. Oh, oh this oh, would have taken idea. ages. Wow. Holy shit. Let's just read a random one. Is this oh. all our on this days? Yeah, all of the on this days. Season one and two. This is, that's special. Oh, maybe we can make like a little book out of it. Dickerson, thank you. On this wow. day in 1964, Neil Armstrong developed a way to communicate with the moon. Over the next few years, he even developed a relationship with the moon and was often spotted at night staring up at the moon, wanking during full moons. Years later, when we landed on the moon, he bent the moon over Earth and started slamming it from behind. Yeah, wow. They're all here. This is crazy. This is all your work, Matt. Lots of research. You've got an encyclopedia now. Dude, fucking hell, Jacob. Very, very lovely. This Thank is, you. This is going to be great to read back on. Do you remember the DVDs one? <laughs> yeah, dude. On this day in 1999, DVDs launched an attack <laughs> on cassette tapes. Cassette ta tapes took an early hit because they weren't expecting DVDs to be so sharp and such good quality. However, cassette tapes put up a strong resistance and fought back. DVDs were losing the war. DVDs teamed up with their small but powerful cousin Blu-ray and overpowered cassette tapes. DVDs became arrogant and Victory and began fucking the corpses in a pure display of get fuckedness. However, you would prove to be their downfall as the DVDs died from AIDS in the years that followed. DVDs. 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 Wow, this is cool. I want to hold it. Let me touch it and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Hold it up nice and high and proud and, and sing a song about Jesus. Jesus Christ. Superstar. Jesus Christ. Died for our sins. Dude, you can put that on your coffee table and all your friends can read it when it, they come over. They don't come here. Yeah, nobody comes here. <laughs> God. Got no air con. <laughs> Since this is special no, and he put and time into it, he gets follow. follow. On Instagram. All right. Jacob, you're a fucking What legend. was his ringworm? We see you bloody um, engaging with our shit all the time. And uh, he's a website member, Matt. Did you know that? No, but I know oh, he comments know on the YouTube. You didn't know oh. that. Yeah, it's yeah. funny. But, uh, this person we've never met before is a member. Anyway, Instagram. How do you know? His Instagram is Jacob Dick Er Son. E R S O N 2000. He's a drummer. Ooh. Next segment is the German segment. Ach du lieber, ach du lieber, Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. Ach du lieber, ach du lieber, Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. And this is a segment where we read out very common German sayings in a very casual, lighthearted way, as if I was speaking to a fellow German in a casual conversation and stuff. Ich habe die Nase voll! Ich habe die Nase voll! Which means, I have the nose full. Which means, enough. I'm done. <laughs> I guess we say I've had a gut full. Thank you. There's an example. What the fuck? If a German reads, oh, oh they have a gut full. What is that? Why, what is, why don't they just say I've had enough? Huh? Fucking stupid English people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm coming around to it. But yeah, don't talk like that again. Ich verstehe nur Bahnhof! Ah! Ich verstehe nur Bahnhof! Ich verstehe nur Bahnhof! <laughs> Whoa, you hit new levels on that. Which means I understand only train station. Which oh. means I don't understand or I don't get it. 
What does train station have to do with that? Oh, look, let's um, let's not get back into this again. So um, (laughs) it's a language. All right. We all make mistakes. uh, But at the end of the day, it's a beautiful way to communicate um, with loved ones. And it's a very passionate way to get to know someone, the German language. Let me tell you, boys, if you guys knew German, we would be the best of friends. Trains are like huge in Germany if you look back of history of what they use trains to do. Yeah, well, we used to transport the Jews with them. Golden Circle. We have Golden Circle juice in Australia. Michael, do you have a bucket collecting water out there? Yeah, yeah. it's full and I, it's too heavy to move now. So, it yeah, just overflows. It's going to overflow. Michael's house leaks when it rains. It's been raining all week. So, I put a big bucket down to get the water on. Now, the bucket's too full. He can't tip it out. So <laughs> it's a big just, bucket of yeah. water in his house. I want to see him try. Yeah. You should tie a bit of rope to it to the coin car and just drive off. No, it's just going to tip it over. Yeah. Okay. We'll do that. <clears throat> All right, last one here. <laughs> Wir sind am Arsch der Welt. Wir sind am Arsch der Welt. Oh, the ending there is fuck. Wir sind am Arsch der Welt. <laughs> Welt. Which means we are at the ass of the world, which means we're out in the sticks. So out in the uh, in the bush or something. Well, like the German way of saying it, that's pretty true. <laughs> yeah. They are at the ass of the world. We once ruled this entire globe. I'll have you know, cunt. Uh, fair point. But I want to hear it like you talk on the phone to your mum. Yeah, that's what I've been oh, doing. Oh, that's how you talk to your mum. Everyone I say is how I speak to... That's what I imagine. I imagine I'm having a conversation with my mother. The same level, the same sound level. 100%. And I, oh. I, I repeat it. I don't, wouldn't repeat it to my mum, but I repeat it so you guys can hear it properly. Okay. So, you'd say, hello, mum, how are you in a very loud way? Is it loud, is it? I don't know. How, how do you say, hello, mum, how are you? <laughs> hello, mother, we get! <laughs> <laughs> you know, just oh. casually like that. I guess it's not that loud. Maybe because we've got headphones on and it goes oh, yeah. through the microphone. Yeah, that'd be it. I think that must be it, yeah. That was good. What's next? Next, we have some crimes. Next, we read out all the crimes that our followers have committed. <laughs> Don't worry. They're all anonymous. Even the ones you write in about how you guys have raped women. That's true. That did happen. Yeah, it's some fucked followers. Like, uh, it's, it's a bit... Sometimes it's a bit like, whew, Jesus, you guys have done some fucked up shit and you're just roaming in the streets free, not even locked up. Some of you, like, like worse than Julian. <laughs> <laughs> And we That's all know hard. Julie nearly went to jail. It was this this close. Don't ever forget that, Julian. I hope you learnt your lesson. Selling drugs. I'm a bit hot again, aren't I? Oh yuck! Yuck, he says. You fuck off. No, he twists. <laughs> Fucking he twists water man. in discomfort. You are just oh. a lake. Oh. You're a big lake. Oh, Deutsch. <laughs> mein Deutscher. Oh, mein Deutscher. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice, the ending. All right. Here we go. My two <laughs> DUIs are pretty epic. The first one was when I was shit-faced leaving a house party and was doing nitrous balloons when I smashed into a parked car. When I was doing my mugshot, I remember a fat young cop bringing in like 75 nitrous canisters and he was dropping them as they clanked off on the floor. The other cops were laughing and were like, dude, get rid of those. They were my football coaches, so they helped. Julian, is that one of your mates? Have you done Nangs before? I haven't ever done a Nang, no. They are not a bad time. Yeah, but very, very harmful to your health. You, they're the things you do once a year. It's a sometimes- It's like a Christmas thing. It's a one maybe when you're celebrating something. Do, don't start getting hooked. Are they addictive? I th- I've got friends that do it a lot. Yeah. Yeah, because they will rot your brain out of your fucking skull. Yeah, you'll get dumb. Julian? Did you do a lot, Julian? Seizure. Yeah. yeah, you had a seizure just a couple of weekends ago as well. Julian's <laughs> <laughs> having bloody seizures left Ross Henning can't fucking party on, brother. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of him. 
All right. This one time way, way back, me and my friend broke into a car, got drunk in it and pissed in it. I forgot to say that it was in front of the owner's house. I also have a vague memory of hitting a junkie with a brick in the head after he started to become more aggressive because he asked me for money and I said no. It was in the middle of the night, so I panicked. He fell to the ground and I ran. I have no idea if he died. Holy shit. So, yeah, that's another one. <clears throat> that's pretty fucking intense. <laughs> you know, if he dies, that's... You're that's, a murderer. Yeah. But self-defense. Do you remember those videos, bum fights? No, but uh, early I saw the guy things. who ran it. He was on the Dr. Phil show Wasn't and he, Dr. Phil that, laid him out. Isn't that where Kimbo came from? Bum fights? No, no, I don't know if he no. came. No, he came from like street fights. That was like street YouTube. fights. But so yeah, he got throw, a lot of trouble for doing yeah, that. Yeah, they used to throw bricks at sleeping bums. <sighs> oh, Not good. Not good. Oh, he went on Dr. Phil and he used to do that? Dr. Phil would have had a stern word to him. Yeah, dude, it? he got ripped to shreds by Dr. Phil. Dr. Dr. Phil did Phil. it with him. And he, he, was, he was like trying to play it cool and be fucking, I'm the best shit. But- Dr. Phil listens to this podcast, you know? Yeah, well, he's he's been on it. Yeah. Like digitally. Way, way ago. There's you guys few, wouldn't remember. Yeah. All right. Burned an abandoned house down by accident. It's been well over seven years. That's the statue of limitations on arson here in Arizona. Lol, I'm all good now. Can't arrest me. And his name is... <laughs> Just kidding, but that Wait, is. Did someone burn a house down? Man. That's not too bad. It'd be fun to do. Oh, maybe one day when we're like super rich, we can just buy a house and just burn it down, and do- we can have a challenge to see who can stay in the house the longest <laughs> while it fucking burns around us. <laughs> I'm so fucking down with that. No, that's a good idea. If we have slides or something on the upstairs windows, and everything's like, got an exit, and like a helmet or something. Yeah, helmets. They always wear hard hats. Yeah, that's a, yeah, we're doing that. As soon as we get like a stupid amount of money. Oh, oh dude, that'd be oh. a fun, fun time. We'll live stream it. <laughs> oh. Anything could happen, Matthew Brown. <laughs> All right, this one's really long, so I can't be fucked. <clears throat> or can Is you it not any good? read it? Is it hard yeah, to read? Yeah, it's too much, it's too much it's difficult. Struggle with the reading, it's don't too First of all, I've never believed or cared for the supernatural. I'm a real estate agent. It's my day job and I have been in and sold hundreds of houses in my lifetime, many of which people have died in or have said to be haunted. And out of all of them, <laughs> I've only had one true supernatural experience. There was a house for sale. It was worth half a million, but only for sale for 100K. It had been bought only four months before and was already on the market again. So naturally, I went to see it. As I arrived, a woman and two kids were on their way out. She said they don't like to be there when their husband is at work because there's something inside the house. She said things happen, especially at night. The dishes fly out of the cupboard, doors slam, and there's loud bangs in the living room as if books are being dropped from the ceiling. I didn't believe her and entered the house anyways. There was antiques everywhere and the house was a mess with random things all over the place. I walked into the front room and immediately I felt a change. The air became thick and heavy like like a weight on me. I found myself staring at this huge 2005 TV with old dusty cable box sitting on top of it. Right as I was staring at the box, it turned on the channels on the cable box went up from one to one thousands like someone was ex- ex- was changing them extremely fast. I was frozen. I really freaked the fuck out when I saw the power cord hanging off the side of the TV and realized it wasn't even plugged in. All the hairs on my body stood up and I was so scared I couldn't move. I slowly walked out of the house and never returned. Are you fucking kidding me? Dude. We need to message this guy. Yeah, and find, find out what the house is. Is that in Australia? Did it sound like it was? Um, house for sale for half a mil hundred K. I don't know. Need to find out that's the house. You Can you please out. message us again, dude? Because we need to go there. This wasn't a crime, so I can say his name. Brian. I don't know what his Instagram handle is either. Really? Yeah, it just says Brian. Uh, has the active one out. <clears throat> All right, Brian, you need to message us. And if you live near Brisbane, you're coming and taking us there. Does he still own it? No, no. He was a real estate agent. Oh, yeah. Uh, if someone owns it, damn it. How long have we been going for, Matt? Um, just, you're just in an hour now. <laughs> Righto, Matt. I guess we'll move on then, eh? To the prank call. If you cut some out, you'll be back under an hour. <sighs> Here we go. If we cut some out. Ugh. What do you want us to cut, Matt, huh? Do you want us to cut Julian? Yeah. Done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've got some prank call for <clears throat> the dickies. All right. So, so for the prank call this week, we basically, we just asked last week, hey, send us some friends, some of your friends numbers so i'm just going to call a bunch i don't know what i'm going to say i don't know what i'm going to do i'm just going to let's just try to fuck with some some people who uh who want um 
who uh do you know what i mean all right this guy sent his number his car is in the shop getting fixed at the moment i was driving home we were both 10 zans deep and on shrooms <laughs> And I T-boned some cunt and drove off. Oh, yeah. They followed us to their house. I anyway paid 500 cash for them not to dob us in. <clears> and we haven't heard back from them since. I, but I need you to act like you were the one that got hit and your car was written off. And I want 5K or you go to the cops. All right. Hello? Hello, is this uh, Jamie? Uh, who's this? Uh, mate, it's, uh, well, you probably recognize my face if you saw me, but, um, I am the owner of the car that was T-boned by, uh, you and your mate the other day. The other day? A couple of weeks ago. Well, a couple of weeks ago, whatever it was. Weeks? Even weeks was, it was like months ago. Yeah. A couple of months ago, same shit. I want more money. Anyway. Um, look, I'm calling because, um, you know, we're not doing so good. And I know he's gave us 500, but um, look, I'm, I'm going to need a bit more money, man, to be honest. Uh, what exactly were you thinking? Well, like, if you consider, like, how fucked it was, like, I was thinking maybe at least another another two, two grand. I'll have to speak to me, mate. Like, I wasn't even driving, so. Yeah, I know, but, like, isn't it your car? Yeah, it's my car, and I've just spent four and a half thousand dollars fixing it. So, yeah, well, you I'm got, like literally just had it done. I've yeah, only just but just like, it done now. like our car was like you know also quite right. fucked. And man, I don't even. And like I, I can't. Honest, man, I don't even remember your car, man. And man, like I don't remember you. I, and my fucking like to be honest, like my elbow is like hasn't been right since like it clicks and shit, and like it's. I can't even straighten it still, and, and and like, like I've been to the doctor and that, and like they can't, they can't like find anything. But like it's definitely like, like a bit fucked. So like I've got that now, and you know I work at fucking at a bloody reception at, at Kmart. So it's like hard for me to like hang clothes up and shit because my elbow's fucked. And like, man, it's it's just like, <laughs> like it was like because I've spoken to some mates and shit about it, and they're like, man, like. <laughs> It's fucked up what happened that day, man. Yeah, bro. Fucking tell me about it. Like, fuck me. Is How much was... What'd you say? How much was your car to fix? Uh, four and a half thousand dollars. Yeah. Well, like, ours was just... We didn't even bother... We didn't even bother getting it fixed. It was like... It was just fucking fucked. So, like, um, you know, you, you can have a chat to your mate or whatever, but, yeah, just tell them, like like two just for like some medical bills as well as like you know we we bought another car but you know it was a fucking lemon man it was like a lemon so that shit car plus my dodgy elbow now equals about two thousand dollars i think all right bro um give me a call and so fuck maybe another day or two and i'll let you know i'll just speak to my yeah i'll speak right. to my mate yeah, and you know, like I know, like I don't want to like put pressure on or nothing, but like, um, like I'd ha- I'm gonna have to like, I probably have to say something to the cops, like if you can't, if you can't pay up, you know what I mean? I don't like, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be like that. But I will. But um, oh, that's sweet, yeah. bro. That's sweet. No dramas with me, man. Yeah, <laughs> and you, because you were like on fucking shit two A. Oh, fuck, man! I don't even know what was going on, bro. Well, that's what your mate said. I'm pretty sure he said like Zannies or some shit. Like I said, man, I've got I've got no recollection, bro. My memory hasn't ever since it, bro. My memory's just been cooked. So yeah. All right. Well, um, yeah, two grand. Like, like I'll give you what's today, fucking fucking Tuesday or something. I'll give you to like Friday. I think I'd, uh, Friday's probably be like the latest that I can wait. Just because my elbow's like so sore, man. Lead it sexual. That's, That's all right. Wrist deal. Um, That's amazing. Are you, are you, like, you sound a bit um, like a croaky voice or something. You're getting a bit sick. Yeah, bro. I've been under the weather a bit, bro. Oh, it sounds like kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, the other thing that like, I don't know, if, and then like feel free to put me in my place here, right? But the other thing, like I sort of, like I do remember what you boys look like a little bit and, I, and and 
I don't know if you which way you swing or whatever, and, and feel free to say no. But um, like if we could be two thousand or like you could, we could just hang out. We could hang out one night. You know what I mean? Do you know what I? Uh, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I fucking know what you're saying, can't. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, like. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Like, yeah, um, call me on Friday. <laughs> what, for like, what, a date or like you, for the cash? Oh, I fucking don't know. Yeah, cunt. Because <laughs> like, honestly, like, um, what, are you, like, do you do you swing that way or what? Because I do. I'm... No, fuck no. Oh, right. Okay. I'd, oh, fuck. Rather... No, no offense. I've got nothing against it. I've, you know, nothing at all. Yeah. Would you try? Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, would you, like, would you? Just... You know, well, would you? you know. I might. You know, would you? Would you? Would you consider it? Suck me off. Or you know, just a little, a little, years, a little gobby. Hey. Not in a million years. Oh right, so not it's not even on the table. So you're not saying. Even on the table. So a, a gobby is out of the question. Hundred percent. Can I suck bro. you off? Can Fuck, man. Well, what if I can? What if I suck you off, and then we'll call it an even five hundred bucks? <laughs> No, I'm good, bro. I don't cut. Come on, man. Come on. Just let me. You just fucking you're, we'll bl- blindfold you. I won't even make a sound. I just want to have. I just want to have your dick in my mouth and just. I just want to. Just fucking with me now, cut. One load and five hundred dollars, and we'll call it even. <laughs> you're fucking about, with me now, right? Cut? Dude, I'm hard, man. I'm, a, I'm fucking hard right now. You're fucking, you got to be joking. No, my, you're serious right I'm now. Thinking about. I don't even know what the fuck you look like. I don't even know who the fuck you are. All right, well, I'll send you a photo and um of like me in the mirror and shit, like flexing. And and then I'll you can reply which offer you want to go with, all right? Or you can let me suck your dick and give me $500 and we'll call it even. Or... Two thousand dollars cash by Friday. Otherwise, you know, like I said, I'm I'm gonna. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to be that guy. I'm gonna go to the cops. So gobby and five hundred or two grand even. You know what? Fuck the five hundred. Just let me suck your dick, man. Let me suck your fucking dick. Oh, I want it. I want the call out cock. I can't take you serious, cunt. I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't want to hang up, but I don't want it because you're just entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most cool shit. I, I, I can't take you serious right now. Honestly, can't. Like I don't know whether to. I don't know what to do right now. I'm just honestly so fucking confused. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's this not. This is the most random fucking phone call I've had. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm going to come clean with you, all right, dude? Fucking, but this is Marty and Michael, man, on our fucking cheeky little podcast. Blake, you fucking fucking fuck, I swear to God. I'll kick your ass. Blake, let us know that you re- you've had a bit of a fucking incident. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fly. I was like, you're going. I'm going to say, cut off. I've moved like three times, mate. This cunt's not going to fucking go to the cops anyway. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> all right. Well, sorry about that, Blake. But, um, yeah, you know, you're all good, man. You're, no one's trying oh, to suck no, your dick. Cheers, boys. Take it easy. <laughs> no worries, mate. Chat soon, eh? Take it. Oh, oh, that went well. That went man, well. That guy really was fucking gullible. I thought it for sure he'd be like, "Nah, this is, yeah, this is a joke." But like, dude, Zenny's fuck you. He would have no idea what happened that day. A hundred percent, especially if he had ten, twenty, was it? Yeah. Like, there's no way he should have died. All right, guys, that's the end of episode nine seven. Keep it real, stay fresh, always say hi to your mum and dad, and don't ever walk on grass. If they got signs there, go on the footpath. Come on, man. <laughs> well, our best, we're, we're the, the best, best, we're the best, we're the best. best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best.